In this video, we're going to take a look at the library feature in Merlin. Now, the library is a great feature in Merlin that allows you to add items that you regularly use to a project, which um, saves time when planning projects, because uh, I think everyone hates um, spending ages fiddling with something, um, getting all of your dependencies um, and your Gantt chart right, when it's something you might do every week. So this can save you a lot of time um, which you can use to be more productive. So first of all, to open the library, um, you can click the library icon on the Merlin interface, which is uh, appropriately shaped like a line of blocks, or you can also click F3 on your keyboard. So here we have the library, and in the library, there's already various things built into it. Um, activities, attachments, contacts, documents, and outlook contacts. And you can do things such as adding regular attachments. So if you want a checklist attachment on a project, you can add that or an event. If your project is for a special event you're planning, a launch perhaps, um, then you can add that there. And also various things like file issues and risks. Um, you can also add contacts if it's for a client. Um, and there's also some link in Outlook. But we're gonna look at activities today. So as you can see, it's got various activities already built in to the library. So we're gonna look at project start. So it is incredibly simple to do. You select the content you want, and you just drag it into your Merlin project view. And it pre-populates your project with a default project start. Um, and this is, it's a fantastic um, starting point for a lot of projects um, and then you can adjust it as you want. You can change some of the dependencies, um, you can change lengths, etc. And you can rename um, activities in the project. Um, but then, of course, after you've edited the way you want it, um, you've then got to get it back into the library so you can use it next time. So it's quite simple, you just click on your project and you just drag it back into the library and you can see the cursor changes to the green plus and then your new project appears in the library. You can click on it to rename it if you want. So we'll just call it launch. Um, and as you can see, the icon is slightly different to the other content in the library. So you can uh, easily tell what are items you've added and um, which ones are built in. Um, and again, on the right hand side, next to activities, you can filter by all items or your own items that you've added yourself. And it can work the same as well if you create your own Gantt, um, your own basic standard project plan, all you can do is just drag it into the library and then it's there for you every time you want to use Merlin, which is a great time saver and allows you to be more productive.